guys it's rachel and today i am back in my home and itchy weeks to do a memory planning spread for the week of <laughs> let's get there for the week of the 8th to the 14th of march you just got a little sneak peek there of what's coming next week because that was st patrick's day week so i have got my st patrick's day kit in there so i don't forget to use it i'm just going to move it out though so i'm not leaning on it uh, for the moment so yeah the week for the 8th of march so i decided uh that that was when we were sort of moving into spring so i've chosen this beautiful flower market hobonichi weeks kit from happy Sherp papery you'll find this in the shop in hobonichi week size in a mini kit size and also in a full kit size as well and you know how much I love these sticker kits from Happy Sherpa Papery. I am going to be referring back to my Stalogy. So let's just get to the right week. What did I say? March the 8th. I've just done a flip through of my March pages. Oh, I'll have to cover that up, which should be on my channel um, a few videos ago if you want to go and see that. So this was the week that the kids first went back to school. Uh, so that should mean that I've got a few bits and pieces to write down but we're going to start with writing down or sticking down the date covers and whilst I'm doing that I will ask you guys how you all are I hope you're all well I hope you've all had a wonderful Easter today is the Thursday after Easter so Easter Monday was in this week, if you get what I mean. So I kind of do still count it as Easter week. We're still on the Easter holidays from school. Or um, well, my kids are anyway. Schools have been a bit weird with that this time. There's, there's, um, there's schools that have only had one week off. And there's schools that only broke up on the Thursday before Easter Friday, which I thought was a bit weird as well. Never mind. That is where we are at. We've had a nice couple of weeks off. We've met up with a friend to go for a walk. The kids have been sitting in their Nana's garden and um, getting to spend some time with their Nana, which is really nice. And yeah, it's been nice to feel like things have been a little bit more normal and we've been allowed to see people. I hope it's been a good Easter for everybody else as well. Right, let me just find a divider to go down this side. I'm going to go for one of my trusty Josephine Bow Designs ones. I can see a yellow one there, that would be perfect. And that means I've got a finished sheet as well, which is always very satisfying. So let's pop that down. This is reminding me that I need to order some more of these. Perfect. Right, let's get my washi card and I can draw the lines in for the weather. <clears throat> I just recorded my March flip through in my Stalogy and I got right to the end. And I forgot my outro, but I and then I said something like, oh, I'm not going to be able to figure out how to edit this out. So I'm just going to say bye. And I got all flustered and I was like, oh, Rachel. So I had to bin it. I had to bin that video and I've just refilmed it. It was only a very quick video. It was like three minutes, um, three minutes long. But I was like, oh, what am I like? I film like five videos a week saying the same outro and sometimes it just leaves my head does anybody else get like that i'll tell you something else that happened to me this morning i know my bank card right i've had the same bank card since i was about um well when i started working at 16 the same bank account obviously the card has been updated and things like that but the same bank account with the same bank card number and i've known it off by heart i was 16 when i got it and i'm 38 now 39 this year right and i got up this morning i needed to pay the sky bill because of the way that chris gets paid he doesn't get paid on the same day every month so i don't have any bills that automatically go out by direct debit i pay them all um automatically uh, sorry i pay them all individually uh myself so i got up this morning and it was the first thing on my brain that i needed to pay the sky bill and i'm normally really really good um remembering to do it so yeah first thing on my brain when i got up this morning to pay the sky bill could i remember that number could i remember that bank account number and i had part of the number in my head and then my brain was telling me that that was the first four digits of that number and then i couldn't get from that to the next digits 
and I just was like, what is going on? I had to get up and go and get my bank card and have a look at the number. And when I looked at it, I had all the right numbers, but I was putting like, they're in sections of four, aren't they? And I was putting them all over the place where they shouldn't be, like the first four in the middle. I was like, that's never happened to me before. Like, what is happening to my brain? Is this, is this the start of my demise? <laughs> is this the start of me going senile? Um, I hope not. I always think I have quite a good memory, but Chris always laughs at me. He says that I don't have a good memory. And the way that he reminds me that I don't have a good memory is that I can watch, um, like I watch, I rewatch cheesy murder shows. I've told you guys this before, I think, like uh, Midsummer Murders, Murder, She Wrote, Diagnosis Murder, Quincy, all of those types of things are my favourite shows. And the way that he will remind me that actually I don't have a very good memory is that he will say, Rach, you watch the same murder shows all the time on the TV and you still don't know who the killer is. And that is absolutely true. I will watch an hour's show. I will watch it. And then I'll get to the end. And it'll be like who the murderer is. And I'll be like, oh yeah. And only at that point will I remember that that was the person that was the murderer. So yeah, um, maybe I don't have the best memory uh, in the end. Is anybody else like that? I like to think that in life, you'll probably laugh now and think, Mm, not from what we can see, but I do like to think that I'm quite an intelligent person. I'm not saying that I'm super brainy, but I don't think I'm dopey too bad. Do I? No. You know, I think that I'm relatively intelligent, relatively all right. I did all right in my GCSEs. I get through life okay. But sometimes <laughs> things happen that just make me think, wow, Rach, I think you're losing it. I think you're losing it. Right, so we have got the bones of the spread down. Um, I did choose a different to-do banner this time. I just fancied something different and I went for one of these ones from Strawberry Sticker Co. I've had them a while, but I did recently go and look on the shop and I do think that they are still in the shop available. So that's good. Um, right, I've still got some of these strips left, which I'm just going to put one down here. And I'm going to dip into my reusable sticker album and I'm going to find a bin day sticker. I've been getting a few questions about these reusable sticker albums that I have. I have a smaller one from Fab Planner Prints and I have a larger one from Josephine Bow Designs. There are codes for both of these shops in the description above. And also, I have finally managed to sort out my Amazon favourites list. It is an affiliate link. I don't make a huge amount of money from it or anything like that. It will be, I mean, I haven't even got a sale on it yet. It will be pennies. It will be pennies. Um, but all of my favourite things, apart from these tweezers, I couldn't find them. I will try again to have a look for them and to find them. But all of my favourite things that I use, my pen, my scissors, um, sticker books that I've previously bought, things like that, um, are all linked on the Amazon favourites list, which is in the description of the video. So if you see something in the video that you think, oh, where did you get that from? I will always try and remember to pop it into my... Uh, Amazon favourites if that's where it came from if it came from somewhere else I'll try and link the shop that it came from that is one of my goals for 2021 she says just start in April try and link things better for people because more and more people are joining the channel and more and more people are asking me where's this from where's this from so I am going to try and get better at that for you um I've stuck that down and then realized that I need to mark down that the kids went back to school so I'm going to still have it, but I'm going to move it over a smidge. It's probably going to go over the line that I've got the bin sticker on. But that's better, so I can use one of these. Um, let's use one of these ones, actually. That is one of the things that I really like about this kit. These little sticky note looking stickers. I just think they're adorable. So I can put back to school down there. I don't need to put my kids initials on it because they both went back to school on that day. So we can move on to Tuesday. Jensen had to go and have his COVID test. So let's mark that down. Oh, and actually that has reminded me that today... Uh, Chris is having his second uh, COVID vaccination, actually. Just spoke to him on the phone, so he mustn't have had it yet. It must, have been, uh, it must be coming up. And then it says that I did a PP Weeks plan with me. So let's write that on. Let's go with the yellow one.
and I do have some YouTube stickers that I will use to decorate this above. Do I have them in my reusable sticker book? I do have some from Paper K. And what I've been doing, here we go, is all the sticker sheets that I've got from um, any shops that I use a lot, I have been filtering some of the stickers into that sticker book because my aim is to just not get any stickers out of my collection, just to use this sticker book. It's, it's packed to the brim now with, these are all icon stickers, all of this. I love it. I don't know how I ever managed without these reusable sticker books. I absolutely love them. I use them every single time uh, that I do uh, some planning. And then I've got down that we went to see Nana and Brian. We will have stood outside because obviously at this point in March we weren't allowed to go in. And Brian had been quite poorly before Christmas. I don't know if you remember. So we were very conscious of staying back, keeping him safe. But we did this week go and sit in the garden with them. I think it was Monday and it was super nice. It was cold though and I was conscious that they were quite cold so we didn't stay for too long. Um, the kids picked up, oh, they have a blossom tree in their garden. They've had it forever, absolutely forever since I was a kid. Um, and it blooms all these beautiful pink blossoms and they go all over the floor. And bless Jensen, he filled a bin bag full of these blossom petals. Um, to pick them up for Nana and Brian so that they didn't have to do them, which was really sweet. But he didn't know he was going to get this. He did it because he was being nice, but he did get paid a £5 note for it. So, yeah, he was um, he was chuffed about that. Actually, looking at this, Monday was Paige going back to school. Wednesday was Jensen going back to school. So I do need to do another back to school. What's the matter? Do you think you can... Do you think carefully... Cut it off when you're done with that video. Cut it off a, a bit carefully. What is it? It's only my nail. Oh, your nail. nail. One second, guys. Sorry about that. She had a little jaggy nail that was coming off. And you know when it's quite low and it's painful? She just wanted that cutting off. So I've sorted that out for her. So back on to Wednesday then. And we wanted to write down that Jensen was back to school. So I'll just put Jay back to school. And then we can put that down on there. Oh, that's gonna, that's the same color. That's gonna clash. I'm gonna move it over to the other side. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then I ordered flowers for Mother's Day. Was it Mother's Day on Sunday? It was. Let's get Mother's Day down. It was Mother's Day on the Sunday, wasn't it? Mother's Day down on the Sunday. I'm going to put it like that and I am going to just see if I've got a heart in here that I can maybe put on it. I've only got the bigger ones, have I? Have I only got the bigger ones? There's a smaller one. Oh, these are smaller as well, even smaller. Let's use one of these. These are from Harriet Wright Designs. I think I got them in a grab bag. Actually, they are miscut. That one was anyway. That one was okay. Very cute. Right, okay. Um, what else does it say? It says that I started listening to the True Crime Breweries podcast. So I am going to put that down there, but I need a bigger box. Let's see what I've got in here. anything over here one of these will go won't it oh the tabs come off I've just marked this page in my reusable sticker book because I ran out of space in the front to put the quarter boxes so I did move into the back for them as well all right so I have got my sticker here I've managed to find one that is pretty much the same colorway so I can pop that down there and let's see if we can find an icon to put next to it as well so I have been um, listening to podcasts on the way home from dropping Paige off to school because it's a 25 minute walk there and a 25 minute walk back and obviously on the way back I'm on my own um, so that is the perfect opportunity for me to get into it I've got obsessed with it as well in fact I actually made a list 
Uh, let me just find it without showing you anything that I don't want to show. I made a list in the back of my Beesixology of all the um, episodes that I've listened to already. So yeah, 25 minutes I get from dropping her off and then obviously the same when I go to pick her up and these stories are all about an hour and a half long so I've managed to listen to how many is there nine I think and I'm obsessed I listen to them at night sometimes as well but I don't like to do that too much because I fall asleep and then can't figure out where I got up to but there is some crazy crazy stories out there like absolutely bonkers the things that people that people do unbelievable um, I don't really have any podcast stickers, which is a shame. I think I might just have to end up putting a bow. I need some headphone stickers or like the little podcast microphone that you that you can get. Um, Maybe I'll put one of these. That's going to be going the wrong way though, isn't it? Hmm, what to put down, what to put down. Okay, so maybe I will just put another one of those hearts down because I couldn't find anything else that would go. So we'll just put one of these hearts in there to fill the space. That's okay. Right, okay, so let's get back to the right week in my Stelogy and we can move on to Thursday. So Thursday I had a bill to pay. I needed to pay PayPal. I do have some bill do stickers in here, I'm sure. Let's have a look. I did. So let's have, let's use this one. down there and I'm going to find an icon to go with that as well. I do have some bows. Do I have more bows in here? I feel like I need some bigger bows. What about one of these? That fills in a bit of space. Maybe that's a bit bright. I need to bring some more of the yellow in from the kit, I think, to make that um, work a bit better. So we'll go with this one. We're going to wrap. I went to Aldi. And I do have some baskets from Paper K. I have some yellow ones. I can go there and then uh, moving on to Friday, Friday I got some PR from Pixie, which was really nice, it was some skincare, so I'm going to write Pixie PR in here and then I do have some skincare stickers from Happy Sherpa Papery as well. I think that they might be in the back of here, if not I definitely do have a sheet full of them. Oh, what about, oh no, that's cleaning supplies, isn't it? Let me just find the sheet that I have. I know that I do have a full sheet of them. I've seen them recently. Here we go. <clears throat> so we will use uh, this one. And just pop that above there. Perfect. And then, oh, we had Dotties. <gasps> I feel like in the last few videos, I've talked about Dotties a million times. We honestly don't have it that much. <laughs> um, 
But when there's not much else to do at the moment, and I'll say to the kids, um, you know, what do you want for a treat? They deserve a treat sometimes, right? Say, what do you want? And they choose Dotties. Um, so, yeah. It does sound like we are having Dotties a lot at the moment. We are not. The Dotties and McDonald's were the only luxuries that these kids had for a while there. Um... I'm going to move that to the side there and I'm not sure if I have any like smoothie style stickers or I know I did have some from Paper Shire but I do think that I've used them. Let me check my Paper Shire samplers. This is where I got them from. Some like little milkshake smoothie style ones, but I think I've used them all. I wonder if they're available in a full sheet. I've got, I've lost my teeth. Good girl. What do you think it is? I think your breath smells amazing. No, it's Minto toothpaste. Minto toothpaste? Yeah, I used it, but I put water on it. So, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't put the Minto thing back in. The lid? No, I put the lid back on. You did? Yeah, but I couldn't put it back in the pot. Oh, that's okay. So I'll... I, put, I, put, I just stand it up upside down. Good I thinking. Up. Yeah, I'll sort it out when I come up. No, just leave it like that. You can leave it like that if you want to. Oh, okay. You can leave it for every day when I, when I try to pick it up when I'm brushing my teeth and then and pull it back and go, it will be like, that girl goes where? Oh boy, I am dreading going up to the bathroom to see what has happened with the toothpaste. Hopefully, I think she means that she just couldn't get it back in the, um, we have a little tub on the top and it just stands in there. I think she means that she couldn't reach that. I hope that's what she means. And I hope that she's not trashed the bathroom. <laughs> but I guess we will soon see. Just going to put one of these bows to fill the space there a little bit. And I did manage to find a donut and sort of coffee sticker. I'm going to have a look on Paper Shire and see if they have any of those um sort of milkshake ones that I am looking for I did get them like I said on a sampler sheet but I have run out of them right so moving on to Saturday then Saturday then if I can speak put my teeth in uh formula one testing was back which was brilliant um so I definitely want to mark that down I definitely want to mark that down and I think that last year we were spoiled by there being so many formula one races next to each other um, like we, you know, one weekend and then the next weekend, and this time the calendar is obviously a bit more spread out because we've got more time in the year to work with. So I feel a bit like it's been too long already. It's been too long already. I want my Formula One back. I want to watch a race. I do have some car stickers. They're not Formula One cars. <laughs> Uh, but I am going to use one anyway. I did put a few of them in here up here. These came from, is it Faces in the Clouds? I was very kindly sent them. Um, I think it's Faces in the Clouds or something like that. Sunday then. Sunday was Mother's Day. I did my shopping scan. Chris was working, unfortunately. Um, but I did treat myself to a face mask. And I know that I have got one Paper Kate face mask sticker left. I'm going to put down Dot the Bear with the flowers actually because I didn't get a bunch of flowers but I did get a beautiful orchid that Chris bought me. Do I have room for you? Do you know what? I'm just going to put that there like that and then I'm going to put this last box here and I'm going to put that face mask sticker in it when I find it which won't be for a second. So yeah, I did get a beautiful orchid. I like I do like flowers, I do like bunches of flowers, but I like to get like um, a plant because it lasts for longer. It lasts for longer, so I do like that. And there, that is my week. I need to put a little bit of glue on the edge of this because it's coming up. Do I have anything that I can do that with without making a real mess? Can I get a bit of that on there? Good enough. Right, so I can't do the weather, but one of the important things that I needed to do on this day was to, on this week, should I say, was to order flowers 
for my mum and for Chris's mum, which I did. I ordered them from, um, is it Serenata Flowers? Because they were letterbox ones and they could go through the letterbox. So that was why I did that. And I have got the shop and scan. What other to do's did I have on this day? Uh, oh, I was filling in the census. Um, any more to do's that I did on this day? I don't think I've got anything else on here. So let's do my medication, which I did every day. And then, did I do skincare? I did do skincare. So I'm going to put AM and PM for skincare. I did all the way up to Saturday for AM and I did, uh, oh, I did quite well with PM skincare as well. Excellent. And I do need something in the middle here. So what can I put in the middle? Do I have um, anything that I can use for deco to go in the middle? I'm going to use one of these planning flat lays just to fill in that space in the middle there. Oh, that's really cute. I like how this has turned out. So I'm going to go and put the weather in. I need to do that off the camera after the video because I need to use my phone for that. So apart from that, this spread is finished and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Let me find the sheets and see what I have got left. I don't have too much left this time actually. I always save the date dots and I always save, uh, well I save most of the kit, put it in my reusable sticker books and see where I can use it in a different spread. But that's going to be it from me. If you like this video, if you could give me a thumbs up and if you subscribe, I love you forever and I'll see you soon. Bye!